Hey guys, this is Tio of LEGO 98, and today I'll be showcasing my LEGO Godzilla mock. So first, taking a look at the details, he has a yellow eye in the middle of his face. Um, he does have the dorsal plates running all along the back. Some of them are facing, well, some of them are right side up, some of them are inverted. Um, I tried to leave as many exposed studs as I could on this build because I just think they kind of look at they kind of look like Godzilla scales, so I tried to leave as many of those on there as possible. And for looks, I think he looks pretty good. Um, for features, I did build him this atomic breath effect part, so you just open up his mouth, clip that onto there. And then you'll have his, him shooting his atomic breath, which is cool. Um, the atomic breath, it does have a little hinge here, so you can adjust the angle. And yeah, that's about it for that effect. For articulation, let me move my camera. For articulation, his mouth opens pretty far you can actually break his jaw kind of but that looks kind of weird since you can see his eye from the bottom um his head moves back that far down that far um there is a swivel joint right here moves up and down there is a ball joint back here in the base of the neck so it can swivel all the way around um it can look left pretty far right about the same and that's about it for the neck um the arms they are kind of limited they can move forward about that far backwards that far outwards ah i popped his arm off outwards about that far not very far but usually godzilla doesn't really have to move his arm out that far um elbows bend about like that they can go backwards because they are just on ball joints. Um, there is a swivel at the bicep. And there are ratchet joints at the hips. They can splay, they can splay out that far, in that far. They can go forward that far. Let me see. And back about that far. The knees are just on simple hinge joints. They can go forward, they can stretch all they can stretch out all the way and they can bend pretty far. Ankles are on ball joints and they can go all the way around. Forward, backwards, side to side. Yeah. Basically got all the articulation you want with the ankles. Um for the toes they are kind of articulated. They can just move up and down. That's about it for the toes. Um, the tail is really articulated. There's a ball joint right here, a ball joint right here, a ball joint, wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a total of six ball joints in the tail, which can get some really nice curving motions. Uh, that's another problem. Sometimes the mini ball joints, they pop apart. They aren't as stable as I would like them to, but that's more of a quality control issue. They can get a really nice curved tail pose. Um, there are two large ball joints and then the rest, the other four are just mini ball joints. Can get some really nice expressive poses out of it. So for posability, it's pretty good. For size comparison, um, let me find something to compare them with. Um, here he is with the Samurai X-Mech, about the same size. Here he is with Optimus Primal. See, it's also about the same size. And that's about it for the size comparisons. So, oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is his hands are just clipped, so they can hold on to any minifig weapons or accessories. Yeah. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this mock. It took me about 
a couple hours to design and it took me about maybe two th two around two hours to build so yeah that's about it bye